There is a lot of observational evidence that dark matter exists in the universe. The question, then, is what is the real nature of dark matter? Promising candidates include neutrinos, supersymmetric particles, and axions. Dark matter, which can be considered a near-zero velocity, is called cold dark matter and has proven to be better for structure formation. Neutrinos can be a significant component of dark matter if their mass is in the order of EV. As the neutrino oscillations were discovered by Super Cameo Kond and so on, there are the following relations concerning the three types of neutrino masses. Here, M1, M2, and M3 represent eigenvalues of mass corresponding electron neutrinos, muon neutrinos, and tau neutrinos, respectively. If the mass of neutrinos is hierarchical according to generation-like quarks, even the heaviest M3 is about 0.05 eV, which cannot explain the dark matter. However, if the neutrino mass is nearly degenerated, the neutrino could have a mass of several eV. Cosmological considerations allow for a strong limitation of neutrino mass. The spectrum of temperature fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background changes its shape as a function of the neutrino mass. By combining the observational data of the Planck satellite with other cosmological observations, the sum of the mass of the three neutrinos is inferred to be less than 0.12 eV. So, neutrinos may not be dark matter. Axions are particles introduced to solve the problem of CP violation in quantum chromodynamics QCD. Within QCD, the following term that breaks the CP symmetry can be added to Lagrangian. Here, G represents the strength of the gluon field. The magnitude of CP violation is determined by an arbitrary parameter theta. However, the magnitude of theta is restricted by experiments measuring the electric dipole of neutrons and is known to be almost zero. It is natural that all terms that have no reason to be prohibited appear, so the CP conservation in QCD means that QCD is an unnatural theory. R.D. Pecchiai and R. Quinn have worked out a solution to this issue. They introduced a new symmetry called pecchiai quinn PQ, symmetry, regarded theta as a scalar field, and obtained theta equals zero as the solution with the minimum potential. In this model, the PQ symmetry breaks at a certain scale of energy F, which produces scalar particles known as Nambu Goldstone bosons. These scalar particles are axions. Action gains mass M through the instanton effect of the QCD. The existence of the action has not yet been verified experimentally, but the mass of the axon is severely constrained by ground experiments and the analysis of astronomical phenomena. Since the strength of the interaction between the action and other particles is proportional to the action mass, the upper limit of M can be obtained. The most stringent restrictions are achieved by Supernova SN 1987A. Axions with a large F interact only very weakly with other substances. Therefore, when an action is created in the core of a supernova, the energy can be taken out of the supernova, and the supernova cooling is accelerated. When the action cooling is effective, the energy that neutrinos bring out of the core is reduced, which contradicts the observations of neutrinos emitted from SN 1987A, resulting in the strong limitation. If there are many light axions in the universe, it can be dark matter. The supersymmetric theory has favorable features such as solving the hierarchy problem and realizing unification of coupling constants in guts. The supersymmetric theory requires a symmetry commonly referred to as R parity. Here, B, L, and S represent the baryon number, the lepton number, and the spin, respectively. The particle present in the standard model is R equals plus 1, and its supersymmetric partner is R equals minus 1. As a consequence of the conservation of R parity, if a supersymmetric particle decays, it must decay into an odd number of lighter supersymmetric particles. This makes the lightest supersymmetric particles, LSBs, stable. Due to the R parity, the LSB can exist stably even with a heavy mass. This LSB is a strong candidate for dark matter. 
In fact, the LSV mass is thought to be several hundred GeV or more. Thus, even if it is in thermal equilibrium in the early universe, it cannot move at high velocity, and becomes cold dark matter. The most probable LSB is the lightest neutralino, which is a mixture of Bino, Wino, and Higgsino. In addition to neutralino, Gravitino is a candidate for dark matter.